Joining us tonight by phone is Sidney Powell, defense attorney for General Michael Flynn, former federal prosecutor herself and a great American. Uh, Sidney, great to have you with us. Let's start with the ownership uh, of these voting firms. I know you're focusing on that part of the of the electoral fraud that's been perpetrated uh, th this year uh, in this election. Uh, why don't we know who they are? <laughs> well, because they've used multiple shell companies and, and now apparently private equity groups to hide their actual ownership. But there's no doubt that the software was created and used in Venezuela to control the elections and make sure that Hugo Chavez was always reelected as the, as the dictator of Venezuela in what appeared to be, quote, free and fair elections, end quote. But they were manipulated by the software used in the Dominion machines and used by other machines in the United States, frankly. And we are just continuing to be inundated by evidence of all the frauds here in every manner and means of fraud you could yeah. possibly think of. I think many Americans uh, have given no thought to electoral fraud that would be uh, perpetrated through electronic voting. That is, these machines, these electronic voting companies, uh, including Dominion, uh, prominently Dominion, at least in the suspicions of uh, a, a lot of Americans. I, we don't even know who has actually seen this software work. Uh, we don't know where their servers are for sure. We know a couple of them are overseas. Uh, and by overseas, I mean in Germany and Spain. Uh, it, it's just stunning that we have progressed this far with these companies and have permitted these entities that we don't know what their ownership is, we don't know uh, what their possible bias is. Uh, how could this be? Because of all the corruption in the country, we need to find a way to follow the money back as far even as when this was approved by the special government committee called CFIUS, C-F-I-U-S, which are the heads of the respective agencies at the time who approved Dominion mm -hmm. coming into the country and running our elections. And, I mean, Carolyn Maloney and uh, Klobuchar and Warren have been raising cane about this issue for a, a long time. Right. But nobody's and done anything as, about uh, it. And, as last year. Yeah, and as best I can tell, both parties have any number of people who are at fault in the fact this has continued to play right. any role in our elections whatsoever. And we have no idea of who all has benefited from it. Somebody needs to do a massive I've... money following investigation to find out who paid what to whom. Well, you have promised a, 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 a Kraken uh, will be unleashed. Uh, we, are, uh, we were expecting perhaps your suit would be filed to yesterday or today. When shall we expect the, your lawsuit? Well, I think uh, no later than tomorrow. Uh, it's just going to be, it's, it's a massive document. And it's going to have a lot of exhibits. And, and, uh, and who will be the defendant or defendants? Uh, the defendants are going to be folks in Georgia who are responsible for uh, supposedly making sure the elections in Georgia are done properly. And there are just countless incidents of voter fraud and election fraud writ large in Georgia. In Georgia, are you planning any other suits beyond Georgia? Yes, we are. We'll be rolling them out as fast as we possibly can because it, it, it affected right. the entire country, actually. We even have an affidavit now from a, a, a distant state that's done by the one of the election officials in the state telling us all the things that person witnessed as being wrong there. So it, it, was, it was nationwide. Well, the, the number of affidavits is voluminous now. The eyewitnesses are considerable. Uh, your, your thoughts now about what will be the impact and can it be adjudicated uh, in such a way as to meet all of the, uh, the deadlines that are, uh, that are forced upon you? That is December 8th, December 14th. Uh, give us your sense of the timing and the urgency of, of getting this to resolution. Yes. Well, obviously, it couldn't be more urgent. 
But yes, the time deadline should be able to be met. And the evidence is so overwhelming, it's almost as though they they were so blatant about it, they expected us to catch it. And, you know, maybe it's a diversion from something else that's going on. I don't know. But it's also clear that there was foreign intrusion into our voting systems, and that's going to be the real where the rubber meets the road. You know, a, a person uh, that I, I hold in high regard, uh, who's been uh, at various points in, the, in this political conflict over the last four years, said uh, the difference this year in the political corruption uh, and the pervasive nature of it is that he believes the left doesn't even care. The radical Dems, the deep state, don't even care whether we find out what we know. Um, and I thought about it, and you know, I think he may be well, that may be well considered. Uh, your thoughts? Yes, I agree. I, I mean, that's exactly how blatant it is. And all kinds of it are, are, are equally blatant. I mean, people sitting on the floor and on the side, writing on the side of buses, filling out ballot after ballot. It's in your face everywhere. The statistical evidence is, is insurmountable. The mathematical evidence is to mathematical impossibilities. There's no way there was anything but widespread election fraud here. We've got one witness that says in Arizona at least there were 35,000 votes added to every Democratic candidate just to start their voting off. It's like getting your $500 of Monopoly money to begin with when you haven't done anything. And it was only for Democrats. Um, do you think that we're going to see the Trump presidency saved? Yes, I definitely do. There are there's no issue in my mind, but that he was elected in an absolute landslide nationwide. Sidney Powell, thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. Thanks so much.